Hi guys, uh, here's my first attempt to, at a fidget spinner. Uh, it's got no weight in the outer corners, so it won't spin, even if you have a big bearing in here. So I'm going to make these areas a bit bigger and put a piece of machine steel in there. So the weight will actually, the centrifugal weight will help it spin. So I need to create a new one. So this is just the stuff that I've been working on. So we create a new one, uh, call it uh, Fidget Spinner T1. Public document. Yep. It's online, so it takes a while to load up. Okay, we've got nothing here. We need to do it, make a sketch. So we'll put a sketch in there and we'll go, uh, we'll call it something. Ah, oh, wrong one. Call it, uh, call it T1. And now I have to collect, uh, click on a plane. So I'm going to work on the front and there's the T1 and it's T1 in here. That sketch, I don't need that. So I'll delete that. Oh, clear selection. What's happening there? Ah, oh, okay. So we're on here. So let's, let's get going. Uh, click on the front so to bring it around. Now, uh, we need to, there'll be a couple of tutorials. Let's have a look. I need to make a triangle. So what I'm going to do here is that one from the center point. And you just pull it out. You can have different shapes, but I'm just going for a triangle. And then we move it back in till it creates a triangle. Then press enter. That's the beginning. Uh, we need a size. So we measure with this one. Pause it. Okay, I want uh, 45. It's only, uh, only a small triangle. Then we get out of that one. And we need a circle. These little arrows here, you click on them and you can sort of choose different types. I'm going for a circle. I'm going to, I've done a bit of a paper plan, so I'm doing 30 mil. that should have come up with a, a size yeah 30 mil so we want 30 mil and press enter you can do it later on and we'll go bigger 30 mil enter and we've got our circles let's just do this one here uh, i might have to all right is that it there no that's it that's it this one hasn't actually got a measurement on it so i wonder if i can delete that let's do it again uh, yep 30. and we'll get that measurement out of the way oh i'll click off that go back and get that out of the way So the measurements are there, and now we're going to um, put a, a smaller hole in there for a piece of steel. And I reckon the steel should be around about uh, 15. So we click on that, we type in 15, press enter. We do the three of them, 15, press enter. 15 press enter and these measurements can be a pain so we'll click out of that and we'll keep the measurements just so you can remember it oops that's not good um okay 
we'll zoom in a bit now we actually have to make these circles and the triangle together so we have to clip out a few lines okay here we are again um, now the circles and the triangles are all separate we actually have to make them one and we actually have to get the snip tool it's highlighted so I'm using it and you see how the line is highlighted we need to get rid of that one and yep that one that one that one that one so it becomes all the the circle and the triangle become one so yep oh no we don't need that one we want that one oops okay gonna highlight that again take that away that 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 okay, take that that these two little inside ones and the big one and that's it um oh the little fillets so this and this if we put a little fillet in there we just highlight that one and that one and put the radius in it uh, set at five mil i think that that's not too much and a couple over here get out of that and that's it I mean you can move those out a bit if you want just to sort of see what it looks like uh, uh, just before we extrude uh, this little spinner um, which is once you get out of the sketching we need to put a, a, a bearing hole in there for the bearing so I'm not I'm not quite sure what the bearing is yet um, where are we send point So not sure of the size. Uh, 21. So we'll go. So we'll go 15 for now. And we can get out of. So that's the hole for the bearing. We'll get out of circle. And if we actually go oh, escape circle. And then go confirm gets rid of all the measurements and then we're ready to extrude we're not in sketch we actually have to start using the three-dimensional ones and I'll just show you that it's not highlighted we actually haven't got the the sketch highlighted so we'll just extrude and see how it's red We've actually got to click on the front or front there or all the object. I think. Yep. Okay, there's the extrusion set at 25 mil. So if I use the right mouse key, it's already there at 25 mil. You can actually, you can actually um, use that arrow to reduce it or you can put it in here um, for now I think the the depth is around about 10 mil press enter and that's it that's our little fidget spinner 
the bearings might the bearing holes might have to be uh, changed but for now um, it'll balance with the the weight of steel in the corners and a nice bearing and possibly with a handmade uh, center pin so you can actually hold the bearing yep that's it